Okay, let's see here. Recommended. Huh? Looks good. Hang it with fresh top YouTube content from A to Z. To A to Z, fresh YouTube content with fresh. Hello there, my name is Fresh, and um, I was collaborating with the wife on a topic to have a sustainable content on, and I think I found it. So I present to you the top trending YouTube content from A to Z, starring Fresh. Now, today's trending topic that has been a topic for quite some time is the ASMR community. So, I'm going to explain what ASMR is. ASMR is Audio Sensory Meridian Response. So, basically, like, remember in the class and the teacher would like, um, well, if you had a dry erase board, most did. The, the teacher would like hit the dry erase board and go it would make that sound right so uh, that sound uh, for some people or even open a package so damn these sounds for some people or the Taco Bell bag. These sounds for some people create a tingle on starting in their scalp, going down their neck, and relaxing their spine, making them to uh, be in a meditative state. So, this is going to be a weird episode, but since I'm going over a trending topic, I'm going to give you story time and ASMR. So hello and welcome to an ASMR with Fresh. I'm going to go over a story time with my viewers. So there I was. I was about 18, possibly 19 years old. Fresh in the military. I joined the United States Marine Corps. It was a scary time for me. Mainly because I didn't want to die at the time. But in all actuality, who does want to die? So, I was in San Diego for a thing they called MEPS. Now what MEPS is, is the training station where they train Marines or military personnel in the testing facility before you go to boot camp. Now while I was in MEPS, in this place, I was nervous because I am a man that likes to pass tests and exceed in life very well. Well, I passed that test. I got up before in the morning to go into this training center and start testing. I was very nerve-wracked and so nervous knowing that I would be going to boot camp. And about two more months later, so my parents and I drove down to MEPS one last time. We went home after I passed the test. So we drove to San Jose one last time and stayed in a hotel, I believe it's the Marriott. I stayed at the Marriott free of charge because
because of the military. My mother took me next door to the Japanese restaurant back when I ate meat. We had sushi together. Uh, while we were having sushi together, my mom was very adamant, happy that I was going into trying something new called the Marine Corps. None of my family has ever got to graduate high school besides my mom or go to college besides my mother. So it was a real big deal me going into the military. Well, this last night before I went into boot camp the next day, like three o'clock in the morning, I had a stepfather at the time who was like a really big, huge bodybuilder. I don't know if you guys heard of him, Stanley Jackson, but he was a bodybuilder. He won a whole bunch of trophies. He even trained. This big 300 pound bodybuilder started weeping and crying because his stepson was going into the United States Marine Corps after 9 11. Now, the whole time of him being my stepdad, I had never seen him cry one time except for this moment. Hang it with fresh top YouTube content from A to Z to A to Z. Fresh YouTube content with fresh. That's A to Z. A to Z. Fresh YouTube content from fresh. That's A to Z. A to Z. Fresh YouTube content from fresh. From A to Z. A to Z. <laughs>